Uh, what I'd like you to do here, I played I Got Rhythm. Uh, if you look down at my videos, uh, down a wee bit, you see an earlier version of this. So I've done a wee ragtime version. Yeah, in the middle eight. But you should see that down below. And if somebody gave me a thumbs down for that, I don't know what you don't like about it. I wish they say it was fantastic, but let's, let's build on it a wee bit. So I do quite a lot of versions I Got Rhythm, my own versions, Martin Taylor's, and but you can find you can find other versions around the net. I want you to play a few licks that maybe a few people don't know. Uh, so uh, what I used in the first video. You won't find him knocking around my door. I'm playing a fourth string. I'm playing the fourth string, third and second. We have uh, B minor, fourth string, third and second. Then. Anyway, that's for the video before. What I'm going to do now, I'm going to give you a middle eight, and this is for a guitar book. Uh, originally it was in B flat, Finger Pick and Gershon, I think it was called. Uh, I've not got it about, it was about 20, 25 years ago, probably about 25. Anyway, so uh, in this we've got a wee bit of walking bass. <laughs> Fifth string, fourth and third and the second. B minor seven, fifth string, fourth and third and the second. So we'll keep that right hand pattern. Go into your C seven, the bass still in the fifth string. A wee fourth string A here, F shape it gives you an A. Pick the fourth string, the third and the second, then augmented. Then E minor. Then A seven. So we've got we cut the D7 part, which is the same as the E7, two frets lower. And this wee part here, that I used the L in the video. But I think I did that wee part, I can't remember what the original part was. But certainly this part here, the wee walking bass part, this was the finger pick and gear string. Uh, if you look it up, you might find it or find the author. Uh, anyway, here it is. Etc. So it's a good idea for the middle eight. You can even do it in a sort of jazz way, bring the. Uh, you see uh, around the net people using different chords for I got rhythm. Basically what they're doing is chord substitution. Here's uh, quite an early chord substitution, I don't know. I'll we'll just give you a part here. So I'm playing what could be thought as a minor 6 or the G's point of view, G9. So we're going to put it in G. I got E minor C rhythm. So instead of the G I'm going to play G9. Moving it up two frets, instead of calling it a 9 now, it's really acting as a substitute for the E minor, it's an E minor 6, or an extension of the E minor, E minor 6. You can think it's chord substitution and chord extension. It's uh, an extension if it's the same chord name, it's a substitution if it's a different chord name. Anyway, you don't even know how to play this, so you've got the G9, E minor 6, and then we're going to go to C, 6, 9. So you can play that way. In the C6-9, I'm just going to play these strings. So I'm going to cover the two there. That could be an A7 suspended. But you see C6-9 to C's point of view, which then D6-9. So we're, we're substituting for the G, we're playing a G9. For the E minor, we're playing an E minor 6, the 6 note in the bass. For the C, we're playing a C6-9. We're probably going to play that way or that way. And for the D, we're playing a D6-9. I got rhythm. Very simple melody line. So the chords give us that down to the second string. We down to the first string. Right now, if anybody's interested in hearing the rest of that, or the ones me to sort of play it in the video, uh, Sam gets the bed late. <laughs> 